I thought defensively we'll be hard done by because we weren't that bad defensively bar those like yeah. uh, the penalty. I'm like, what do you guys think of the penalty? A clear pen. I think it's For a me, pen. I don't think it's a pen. I don't think it's a pen. But yeah, it might be fan, you would say that, but that's a clear pen. I just think there is a proximity a clear issue pen. What do you with mean? the handball rule with exactly. where what, what defenders can actually do about yeah. the handball. So why sure. would you ever need your arm up above your shoulder? Well, who, when who you jump, like you can't jump with your hands down yeah, like you this. Jump, you, so he's you jump jumped. Like this, yeah, you can jump with them there, you but can his arms up over his shoulder. Like this, and it's a normal jump. His and, arms, so if, and from where Mudrick headed the ball, exactly. and it wasn't going on target. Exactly. I don't understand how that's given a pen and nah. certain decisions aren't given a pen like the United against Romero one wasn't given a pen because exactly. of proximity. Exactly. There's been so many different handball claims that a handball is not That's my handball. frustration. So that's why I didn't understand because it wasn't consistent. I guarantee if that happened in Liverpool, you wouldn't say boo about it. If it happened to Liverpool, yeah, of course. I don't care. Course. But yeah. I could yeah. sit here and say, but objectively, objectively yeah. it's not a pen. At the time, I could say, oh, oh, yeah, no, you it's a pen. Yeah. Like and objectively, it. you're wrong. But the, the same way I said that Gusto's, what I didn't think was a red card when he got sent off, I didn't think the sleeper one was a pen. Morning, good afternoon, good night. You're back and let them shoot. It's your favorite thing ever to see on a Tuesday night on your screen. Um, we're back, and your favorite people are back. Probably our. This is probably our best lineup, I reckon. I think, <laughs> I think so. every week, yeah. but this is definitely, yeah, I definitely the best, best lineup. lineup. No Look, nonsense today. Um, exactly. Yeah. It's only the mature heads. Yeah. Yeah. Very mature. Yeah. No immaturity. True. No. Yeah. No so cringe. True. No Samuel. No Bud. I made it. No God. deny. <laughs> it's the mature cast today yep. to my very right um your favorite face to see on a tuesday yeah. night yep i mean yep who wouldn't want to see my face on a tuesday night um i'm chris it's good to be back to my left oh shit i didn't think of a player um <laughs> canberra's newest afcon member if you don't know me <laughs> jeremy it. bud and mj we go up to sydney every week and we play in an afcon tournament this weekend we beat the defending champs 3-1 yep Committed. mj on the score sheet yep Assist, Amazing. Assist, assist, oh, assist, yep. assist wow. for me. Yep. Um, seventy percent possession ish. Ish. We would ish. say, but yeah. yeah, convincing win against defending champions. So, yep. If you're around Sydney, come down to the Western Sydney. What Wanderers. is it? Wanderers training facility. Training facility. Oh, wow. Saturdays. Legit. Saturday. Yep. Yeah. Except we have a bye this week. But yeah. <laughs> next week. Yeah. yeah. It's your boy MJ Born Africa Gang. Blessed to be here, man. Yeah. I'm in the middle of mm and mm. But I'm happy. Mm-hmm, yeah. Life's good. I'm blessed. <laughs> Ice cream sandwich, baby. God <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. Shit. We'll have That's to bleep that one out. It's, all, it's opposite. It's the opposite. Sandwich. Is it? Shit. Is it the opposite? Yeah. It's the reverse. If you had reverse. ice cream on both sides. Yeah, that'd be yeah, okay. you too. Yeah. How would you hold it? It'd be sticky. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sticky. Yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. To my left. Uh, we've got Cameron's best young chef. Newest FPL loser. Um, smoothie of death survivor. That's true. Yeah, yeah true. I made it. Um, we made true. it out, you know. That's I've, true. I've got that little badge now. Um, yep. I can wear that with pride. Like I can wear this Chelsea jersey with pride this week. Pride. Oh, pride. We okay. Pride. There we go. Pride. Yeah. We did Very say cool. we right. we'll get back on that later. Today, but oh, it's right. It is. It's the wisest. <coughs> it is. Yep. Yep. Yeah, yeah. It mm-hmm. is. Very much so. Um, not got anything to do with what we're talking about, but me and MJ did a recovery session at the pool after AFCON. Oh, yeah. no. So we played AFCON Saturday, then we went to the pool on Sunday, yesterday. And um, we were, he, he he's like, oh, we're going to do this thing where we're going to do like sauna for 30 minutes, right? Straight. I can't even sit in a sauna Long. for two yeah, minutes. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's no joke. Yeah. 30, so 30 minutes straight sauna. Yeah. We get in and there's like 10 people already in there. But we're like, oh, fuck it. We'll just do it. We're sitting there and there's this guy who just won't shut up. Like oh. He's just talking like going. There's this Indian guy sitting like to our right and he's going to the Indian guy. So, what are Indian lions like? And me and MJ what? are like oh looking around. And everyone's the whole right. sort is looking at each other like, is this is this dude for real? And then, yeah, like he, then that finished. And then he would go like, oh, by the way, guys, I have a, a professor who lives in Sweden. And like, he just started going on a tangent. And someone like behind me and MJ goes, oh, <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> he said that. Yeah. Yeah. He was Thank so, God. It was <laughs> so fucking funny. And then when he left the sauna, like everyone started laughing. <laughs> it was so rude. How old was he? I don't know. He would have been in uni. Like yeah, that. 21, oh. 22. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. One so of those. It was crazy. But yeah. 
Um, <laughs> yeah, it was fun. And then there was another guy in the uh, sauna. Oh, and he he was like weird. asking this girl, like, "Oh, are you okay?" Like, and he's sitting next to the girl directly, and she's in the corner. Oh. So it's like me and you, like this, but yeah. she's up against the wall, like, tr- yeah, like literally going like that. <laughs> and she's like just stretching. And he goes, "What are you stretching? Are you stretching your toes?" Like, oh, and the girl's going, like, oh, "The girl's going like, swear to you, oh, so weird." That's a weird question. Like, that's a weird question to ask. No. Lucky you guys were in there. Yeah. <laughs> and he stayed for thirty minutes on that. Yeah, that's nah, nice. you would have saw all sorts of characters. That sauna gets packed as well. Mm. That's another reason for me never to get into a sauna. Yeah. Mm. I can't breathe in there. Firstly, and secondly, there's a Let bunch alone. of it's not full on combos. Yeah. <laughs> I, I thought it'd be such an awkward place, like too, like That's too awkward is. to talk. You're just mm. trying yeah, to, especially to strangers. Yeah. Like, anyway, I don't each know. to their own. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, comment, mm-hmm. hit the notification bell. Uh, subs are slowly going up. Nice. Are we at That's 10k good. yet, MJ? Slowly. We're not at 10k <laughs> yet, but still <laughs> two months. So yeah, it's true. yeah we got so nice. we got so much time. By Christmas, we can get there. Shorts are going up. We're putting them up. So oh, nice. someone actually oh. asked me why we don't do YouTube shorts. So yep. there you go. See, we answered that question. Giving yeah. the people what they want. Exactly. Again. Uh, ex- again. <laughs> <laughs> again. Um, and yeah, everything else <laughs> slowly going up. I would just like us to just like, they should make it if you have 10K followers on this platform, you just have just it. Over all <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that'd be nice that to have it so much easier. Exactly. Um, anyway, let's get into it. A lot of big Prem results. Mm. We'll start with Stamford Bridge. Chelsea 2, Arsenal 2. Bud is not here today because he's ill. But But he called it. First of his run of death for Chelsea. Mm. And he's correct. Correct. He said Arsenal Chelsea would draw. Yeah, he did say that. He did say that. Sorry, we were all on his case. So sorry, Bud. You were right for once. We were peppering him. You can't blame us for peppering him, Bud. Like... Every day before, we were pretty much... Especially on the Friday? <laughs> Even the Friday. The he Friday peppered it. him. On the drive home from Sydney, we were peppering yep. him. And I am I feel bad that he's not here to defend. Mm. Not even to defend, to give it to us a bit. Yep. Pause. <laughs> yep. 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 Um, to pause. But we have the next best thing here. The real Chelsea <laughs> fan. <laughs> yeah, the, I think the realistic one. The Chelsea fan with polar opposite views to yeah. mine. They actually do. It's because I know ball, that's why. <laughs> yeah. It so, goes off feeling. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> uh, Riley, what did you think of the game? Look, if I'm being completely honest, I'm surprised. Mm. I did not think we would come out and press like that. As we were talking on the Friday, Bud was saying that we'd play a back five. <laughs> yeah, <he was laughs> and to be honest, I didn't see Pochettino changing his tactics. He's not. He doesn't seem like that sort of manager, but I would understand. Arsenal's obviously a top two side in the Premier League. Mm. It's hard to... F- have them come at you and try to defend that to get as least goals as possible. Like I understand, but to come out there and press like we did, we were attacking, we were looking good. We held a lot of possession. I think in the first half, we even looked the better team Mm. to be let down by a couple of mistakes. It was Mm. so disheartening, Mm. but to see how we did play, like you have to give them, you know, you have to give them their flowers for that. Yeah. Yeah, Mike, do you agree? Yeah, I agree, man. I feel like, um, it felt like Arsenal, we took them for granted a bit. Like yep. we, we, wa- we walked into the game being like, we just beat City. Mm. It's going to be a breeze. You could tell in the first couple minutes in the game, they were ready, they were hungry. They had something to fight for. We were just kind of dilly-dallying. Oh, it's going to be okay. We're going to switch on. Didn't happen until the 70th minute. So yeah, look, if I'm a Chelsea fan, I'm happy because you can see the progress. And I mean, we spoke about it before the game. I feel like... Poch is the kind of guy that he's been saying, I'll back the process. And I knew he wasn't going to change it up because I know that he wants to play in his way and show and demonstrate what they can do. And I feel, I feel they did that. I feel like um, it's just showing that we're, as an Arsenal, for Arsenal, we're not playing well. I feel like we're seeing there's some weirdness in our system. Like the midfield couldn't get the ball. Mm. I feel like we struggled to play out. We struggled to keep the ball. I feel like we struggled to dictate and we should have been able to. Mm. Um, and that could have been the tactics. You know, Posh did well. Chelsea players played very well. We had a lot of players that didn't play well. But, yeah, it was disappointing across the board. And I feel like it just kind of highlights that elephant in the room with Arsenal this season where it's like you're not seeing the consistency like last year. You're not seeing the performances. We're not dominating. We're not really creating chances. And it's interesting, you know, and that whole Ray debate, you know, Ray Ramsdale, that mm. opens up again and... Yeah, it's just I think there's more questions than answers. But at the end of the day, would I take the draw given how the game went? I would because mm, oh, we didn't sure. deserve to win that game or draw. The fact that we got a point, 
I'll take it. Yeah, I guess that's that's a big thing because I feel like Arsenal in the game were horrible. Like worst performance. First sixty minutes, it's our worst performance of the season. Worse than Lens, worse than Fulham, worse than Tottenham. Mm. But to still come away from Stamford Bridge against the team that we played, who were good in the game, that Chelsea side, with a point, I'm happy. I'm not happy with, but I'm content with Absolutely. based on how the game went. Similar to how we were in positions last year where we didn't play well and we got the points or we got across the board, I'm still happy because we need all the points we can get, especially if we're going to be in the title race. So I'm not I'm not too disappointed, but the first 45 minutes particularly was very, very alarming. Yeah, and that's the biggest takeaway for me is that we're not, we haven't, I'm not, I've not seen us play well f- from start to finish. Whether that's possible in a team, that's a debate, but... I think the fact that we haven't lost yet and I don't think we play nowhere near our potential, that's that's positive. Yeah, I think yeah. I can take I can There's take pros and cons <sighs> massively. The Liverpool guys, what do you think? Just from like a Chelsea point of view, I guess like uh, you haven't seen that belief from the Chelsea fans and Stanford Bridge was actually like pumping. Well, like it was Fortress like is back. It was it's I coming. was like, shit, this is like this is massive for the Chelsea fans. I think they're seeing what Poch is doing and they're like, okay, we can get behind this now. And you should have won, if, you know, for your keeper to do that in what the 70th something minute yeah. would have been so frustrating. But it's positive signs for Chelsea. And like you said, Arsenal, there's a few questions there still. But I think yeah. sometimes when you come off such a big win, like beating City, there's a bit of like that mm. big win hangover, I guess, coming off the international break, coming up that. against Chelsea who have something to prove. I guess, you know, it, it's not easy, but you didn't lose, so... It's not all negative. Yep. Seems like the game went against pretty much how the season has gone for, for both teams. Arsenal hadn't conceded an away goal in like six games. Mm-hmm. Chelsea is struggling to score goals. Yep. They come out against the top six side and score two, which I don't think they've done in a yep. long, long time. Top two side, top say. Yeah, top six. <laughs> it's been a while. Threatening been a while. side. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and yeah, and Chelsea score, a, score two and Arsenal concede two. So... If you were going to tell me that that was going to happen before the game, I wouldn't have picked that at all. Yeah, for sure. Um, And in terms of Arsenal, just because Chris had talked about Chelsea, I think there's two big things that come from Arsenal from that game, one good, one bad. The good is that you can play like that against a traditional top four team and not lose. Mm -hmm. I think that sets you well for the season, just that belief that if you are playing bad, knowing that you can grind out results and come back into a game is massive. Yeah. And second is you guys don't need the goalkeeper drama right now. Yeah. That's Not that's a big problem. At yeah. All. Yeah. That's a big issue. I can see that moving forward within the next month being a, a big, big issue. And also coming into January and Ramsdale being on, you know, six months coming into a major international tournament. He's out of here. Yeah. Is he gone? Who knows? Yeah. I think he's. I think he's going to try and leave because look, you look at it right. You got two very good keepers that could be a, a, you know, top four, top six teams. Why, especially in Ramsdale case, now you're like, all right, mm. I got to start next mm. week. Yeah, you know, Ray's not had a good game. He's he wasn't commanding. He wasn't really that dominant. I'm yeah. going to start. If he doesn't start, then I think that's where it becomes toxic and it becomes a huge problem within the squad. And that's yeah. that was my biggest fear with this whole thing was. Yeah, it's good, but how do you manage it? And that's where I want to see Arteta step up and be like, all right, how do I manage, manage this correctly? Otherwise, we're going to see Ramsdale. He's going to want to leave. Yep. He's not going to. You be, can you see know. him already starting trying to manage it in yeah. the press conferences, though. He says, you know, this is what he's got to do to get back yep. into the team. Yep. Whether or not he does it is up to him. I mean, it's the most basic answer ever, but, but at yeah. least he's addressing it in some. Yeah, True. something, I guess. Yeah, definitely. And we do have Champions League this week, so it will be interesting to see who starts, but. I think for me the the Raya thing wasn't an issue until it started leading to goals, which is why Ramsdale was taken out of the team because of mistakes that he'd mm-hmm. made in games and it, it was leading to goals. He even made a mistake where they didn't score the Cole Palmer yeah, chance. Yeah, yeah, could have been That's huge. If, and if, the one against City as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. The it's Alvarez chance. So yeah. there's a, there is a couple. I like Raya, but same. Yeah, if if it keeps happening, then it just makes no sense to not go back to Ramsdale. But um, who are the standouts for you guys? Riley, as a Chelsea fan, who did you enjoy watching the most? Um, you had a couple good, good We actually had a fair few. I yeah. think Mudrick is always a good shout. Um, I don't know if his goal was really a shot on. Yeah, it was. Uh, but like, let's be honest, yeah. it's he's coming into form. Okay. He's looking more confident, I think. I think especially for the run of games that we look like, sorry, that we are having at the moment, um, he's going to be a key player. Okay. Same as Sterling. I think Sterling, he, I thought was great. I yeah. thought he was really good. Um, he's been good as well the last month. Yeah, yeah. exactly. He's yeah. been good, which is all Quality. good confidence for us. And we 
clearly need it right now. Yep. Um, Enzo again, another great game. Enzo was good, yeah. Doing doing his thing in the midfield. So Enzo and Gallagher had to play well because they did. Well, even didn't really turn up. To be honest, even Gallagher <laughs> me, played well. Anyway. Like he. Gallagher, people slander. I thought like Gallagher he, was all right. Honestly, God, I slander yeah, him as well. But he, that lines. guy just runs yeah. like for days, he's and I think machine. sometimes you just need that. He's yeah. a little Kante regen. Oh, he's a we could, okay. Honestly, we can <laughs> <we can, laughs> use that squad right now. So yeah, so yeah. I think that was a fair few for us. But yeah, I think, I think so. they're my main ones. Both your fullbacks locked up. I was about to say. Well, even Cucurella as well. Yeah, they were very good, man. Two foul merchants, except Gusto did fall asleep when it. Yeah, when it sort of came down to it. Absolutely, Mike for Arsenal. I thought it was only really Rice and Tommy Asu who played well in the game. Yeah, uh, for me, it has to be them too. Just because, I mean, we've seen Declan Rice has been consistent. He's a leader. He's he's the one putting his hand up. I thought defensively we were a bit hard done by because we weren't that bad defensively bar those, like, uh, yeah. the penalty. I'm like, what do you guys think of the penalty? A clear pen. I think it's for a me, pen. I don't think it's a pen. I don't think it's a pen. But yeah, it might be fan, you would say players. that, but that's a clear pen. I just think there is a proximity I don't think it's a clear issue. Pen. What do you with mean? the handball rule, exactly. with where what what defenders can actually do about yeah. the handball. So why sure. would you ever need your arm up above your shoulder? Well, who, when who you jump, like you can't jump with your hands down. Yeah, like you this. jump. You, so he's jump jumped. Like this, yeah, you can jump with them there. You but can his jump arms with up your over hands his shoulder up like this, and it's a normal jump. His and, arms, so, and from where Mudrick headed the ball, exactly. and it wasn't going on target. Exactly. I don't understand how that's given a pen, and nah. certain decisions aren't given a pen, like the United. Against Romero, one wasn't given a pen because exactly. of proximity. Exactly. There's been so many different handball claims that a handball is not That's my handball. frustration. So that's why I didn't understand because it wasn't consistent. I guarantee if that happened in Liverpool, you wouldn't say boo about it. If it happened to Liverpool, yeah, of course. I don't care. Of course. But yeah. I could yeah. sit here and say- But objectively. objectively yeah. it's not a pen. At the time, I could say- Objectively, you're wrong. But, but the fine. same way I said that Gusto's, what I didn't think was a red card when he got sent off, I didn't think the Saliba one was a pen. But- you put yourself in that position when you're dominating the game. So I'm not saying- When you're getting dominated. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. what I'm saying. You guys were dominating the game yeah. when you got that yeah. chance. Yeah. So okay. it makes sense. But I don't think that can be given as a pen. Yeah, also, harsh. Cole Palmer maybe shouldn't have been on the pitch because oh. his tackle on on it's Jesus clean, yeah. in like the fifth minute of the game was- Mate, Emerson Jesus Royale literally got a red card a- against Arsenal last year yeah. for that exact same tackle. So we're being consistent. Your goal stream gets reckless. sent off in the first yeah. five minutes. Even Chris knows Jesus died for that. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. No. I've I've had my my hurt with against the refs the last couple yeah, of weeks. Yeah, it it, it is inconsistent, and you don't know what. Even our penalty, I was like, I, I don't know if this is going to get called because you just you do, you didn't you don't know, know yeah. especially because of proximity. Happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like how close you were. I thought that was a pen. Oh, definitely. But that yeah, yeah. yeah. But I was like, oh, maybe they won't call it. That's what. I, of that. And even the, the commentators like, oh, proximity, and then it's like the ref didn't want to give it. But like, oh, I have to. Like, anyway. But don't know anymore. Perfect segue. Liverpool to Everton nil. Yeah. Probably your most comfortable worst performance <laughs> of yeah. the season. It was, yeah. yeah. That's what happens when you verse such a, a shit team. Like they obviously sat back and parked the bus the whole game, but they honestly looked so awful in attack. Like mm. there was never a moment where I felt maybe in the first minute or whatever when yeah. Calvert Lewin nearly got on the end of the cross. But oh, don't I'm, just like, I'm just like I'm just like I wasn't ever worried. Mm. It was frustrating because we were forced to take shots out of the box because they were just so compact Camped. in the middle. But I didn't ever feel like we were going to lose. We had about four penalty shouts before that. Like mm. we were building pressure, mm. we were building pressure. And finally, obviously, and one counter pulled off at the end. Um, yeah, I was never in doubt that we were going to lose that game. It was just like a question of when we were going to score. So. We didn't think you were going to lose either. We were watching the game. But I thought when they got given the red card, it would make the game harder for you to win. Yeah. yeah. Like, for sure. Yeah. If it was so 11 it v 11 yeah. the whole game, I think you would have yeah. won Definitely. comfortably. You yeah. would have created yeah. more chances Agreed. just because they wouldn't have been as scared to come out. Exactly. But yeah. you still ended up getting the win, Tom. Salah, so, man uh, of the match in his worst One out of 10 performance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Saves <laughs> Liverpool again. Scores a double. <laughs> yeah. But that's, oh, that's, 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 that's him. That's been his story for the last two or three years, I think. I mean, it's good to have someone like that in your team that can play... Yeah, big time. horrendously <laughs> and then score a Win double. Game, but, yeah. you know, I think Liverpool's issue at the moment is so glaringly obvious with mm. McAllister playing at six. Yeah. You can, it's funny because you can tell he's a very, very good player. Yeah. And he does some really, really good and intelligent stuff, but he just gets completely run over. At and six. I think because, again, Everton are just crap. He got away with a lot yeah. that game and like mistakes and stuff, we sort of got the ball back quickly and it wasn't like the, um, 
the was it the Brighton game? He yeah, yeah. the Brighton game yeah. where he like gave the ball away. It's sort of yeah, it got hidden a bit, but yeah, it's it's a bit of an issue. It's it is a lot good. of an issue. It is yeah, and I suppose the only other positive I can t- really take from the game is that Klopp he decided to make some daring tactical changes by taking yeah. off Simicast, playing Luis Diaz as like a makeshift yeah, yeah, left yeah. back as a, maybe like as another second winger and. I don't know. I suppose that's a positive in the fact that we're seeing that he's trying to adapt to the low block if we mm. don't have the players. Yeah. Um, yeah. To break you definitely the do have the players now. We do, for yeah, the, to for sure. But, you know, nine games in, years. we're still trying to figure that out a little bit, I think. So I suppose that's a positive. I'm not sure it really worked. Mm. but Yeah, I'm not sure what he's going to do next game. See, Mikas was very behind the pace. It was terrible. He was so bad. It was and sleep. Yeah, it was <laughs> he's still positive. Graven Birch yeah. was great. Very good. So <laughs> glad he started. Even I thought Harvey Elliott was really good when he came on yeah. as well. He's I know you're the most biggest fan. Player, I know, yeah. I know. But I just feel like he was very hungry, like making tackles. It, he had a very good shot and like just yeah, true. brought a bit of liveliness to the team. Mm, like yeah. yeah. Anyway, we got the win, so true. I'm happy. And yeah, I feel like this year we've been saying it this year's different. Like I feel like last year we could have just Drawn that game nil all, but yeah. we really we pushed and we got the win, so I'm I'm happy. Yeah, another three points. Mike, we saw last game for Liverpool going into the international break. FA had to they had to make it out like they weren't Liverpool wasn't their face club, <laughs> so they did that <laughs> offside. But then this week, another should Canate have been sent off should he yes absolutely absolutely yeah. and, and the I game was the game was still nil all i'm just going to take <laughs> no. him off yeah yeah the that, game, for me the game was still nil all you know what's crazy right mm. one of the um analysts was like oh sort of this he didn't do anything then he watches it then he's yeah. like oh he's like actually fair enough and even Klopp <laughs> said be, after be the game off. he said yeah, yeah he was lucky to should have yeah, been yeah he's off. like with time Sean Dash will we'll get over it yeah. like yeah. it was it was <sighs> Sean Dash was livid he after was, the game. He, yeah, that's going to be a different after that. Yeah. for relegation for Everton though like they could have really used those points yeah. Yeah. so I think in the end it's going to be we would have won we would never even yeah we were never going to lose that game it would have just been like 11 it would have just been shit if we wouldn't have drawn they were getting nervy as the game went on it was it was getting nervy. Yeah, I saw Tom was, sitting yeah. there and he was like yeah. sweating a little bit. He's you didn't concede any no. chances no. for them no, to score, no, no, but no. it was like the pressure Allison was building on Liverpool half. to score. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 And, you and there was a lot of, yeah, like I said, out of the like shots from outside the box. Was like, I was trying so hard. Oh to like, my God. And, he was oh, get, and I'm like, bro, off. there was a one point where he shot and then I think Harvey Elliott and Mo were like so open on the right. And yeah. like, he had the shits with himself and everyone's like, you should have passed he it. He was but. in his Bruno bag. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. Uh, we got a couple of questions from the crowd on the Liverpool game. Bradley says, Darwin Nunes should be starting more often over Jota and Gakpo. Do you guys agree? I thought it was going to start to be fair. I agree in most games, but I think we expected... Everton to sit back. So I can understand why he made the change. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Yeah. In general, agreed. Yeah. Okay. He's been in excellent form. That's not a bad Definitely. point. Yeah. Um, all right. Let's go to the Aston Villa West Ham game. Aston Villa really showing that they might mm, be I the know. fifth or sixth best team in the yeah, league. About convincingly. Out, they well. just needed a good manager yeah. and. Good evening. Routine. They got him. Good evening. <laughs> they, Ollie Watkins scores again. Again. Yeah, he just needed that first one. Great finish. Can't stop him yeah. now. Great Excellent. finish. He had a, he had oh, a shocking he miss. A, he missed a couple. Shocking the one miss. in the first, like, yeah. <laughs> typical of him, yeah. but great finish. He does need finish. chances to score, like a 100%. lot of chances, but 100%. he does just create so much for them, like, in every way. Going forward, he makes so yeah. many runs in behind. As a target man, he's quite good. Yeah. But Aston Villa were too good for a team that was – People tip to be near Aston yeah. Villa in the league. Yeah. West Ham, David Moyes, West Ham. You guys feel Aston Villa can push on and get European football this year, as in Europa League or Champions League? They got the right guy to do I don't it. think Champions yeah. League, but I think they're there or thereabouts for Europa League, competing mm-hmm. with Brighton United. Yeah. Well, yeah, they tore Brighton apart as well. So, yeah. I think those teams that are sort of on the same level as them, they seem to be just showing up against them and yeah. sitting them so right much down. 100%. So, yeah, I think definitely. Even Europa League, I think they'll make this year if they keep this form up. Yeah, Leon Bailey scored a... Excellent. Yeah. He that sent a yeah. <laughs> check bang. Left oh, my God. He needed to touch the ball. Yeah, <laughs> and, oh, nice. and Douglas Luiz scores two again. I think he scored like five this year. Yeah. He's looking good. Yeah. He's been good. He's yeah. And I feel like we're seeing that they've got a decent amount of depth as well. Mm. 
because they made changes and they changed the game. Although I feel like West Ham could have had moments, mm. especially at 2-1, where yeah. you're like, okay, the, the game's changed. I think if they had scored again, obviously, I think they probably would have run away with it. But yeah. Aston Villa did well, man. They're very, very impressive. Um, Musa Diaby is he's too good, man. Yeah. yeah. He's That's he, such a great time. Too good for them. Yeah, yeah. too good. I got yeah. a question for everyone. Okay. Go. Jared Bowen, yeah. not the sexiest footballer. At all. Not necessarily that great of a player, yep. but he scores every single week. Yeah, he does. Is this guy in contention for a spot in the England Euro squad? Or in the squad? Is he just not really good enough? Because he keeps scoring for this team I, who's yeah, around Yeah, maybe 10. on like a world stage, he's not quite yeah. there but he mm. might just be because that the prem is difficult to know. score in and, yeah. he, and he is scoring a lot i think there's him. a case for like players who aren't that good players for just being mad effective but when it comes down to it they're not gonna do it and maybe yeah. Yeah. like i'm not i'm saying he's great for west ham he's yeah. great yeah, yeah, in the yeah. premier league but when england are playing and they're gonna play france or they're gonna play germany in no way will yeah, anyone say <laughs> we <laughs> need bowen starting <laughs> over saka over Foden, over Rashford, regardless. Mm. Because they're just better players, regardless of how effective he's been in the season. Should he be in the squad for me? Yes, he should go, based on his performances during the season, if he continues to perform like mm. he is now. Yeah. But should he ever be like, he should start the game? No, because he doesn't have the quality that so many of the other players have. Yeah. I hear I that, but you got to think about, like, he should never start for the England team, let's be honest here. No. But coming on as a sub... Like your subs are normally they've either got they've got like one trait that's exceptional. Mm. Bowen's just the most average player ever <laughs> that just seems to make it work. Like I don't see him Jesus actually making Christ. it. <laughs> but do you know what I mean? Like, what can you say about his game? Yeah, you can say no. You can say no. You don't know what he means. <laughs> Look, I, yeah, I, I, feel, I don't think there is one. Slander yeah, I, I feel like he's the kind of dude that you'd want though, because no one. In world football, and I just told him it's going to be like, they're, they're not going to know who he is. What yeah, a little like. secret weapon. And he's the kind wild of guy card. where he's not afraid. He would just, yeah, definitely. He'll get the ball, he'll drive, he to make stuff happen. He'll we probably saw have him, shots from, we saw from him, anywhere. We've yeah. been seeing him. So I feel like he might not be like a typically technical this, that, but I feel like in terms of his energy, what he brings, his mentality, I feel like he's the kind of guy you want to just, you know, throw an A ball in there yeah. when you need something. I'll, I'll take him. So I mean, rallies a hard no. Yeah. Uh, no, I think Corbin. No, like I, if Come he's in the squad, I don't mind. I don't I hate you. I, yeah. like, I, get you. I just I don't see, see the saying. point of bringing him on. Yeah. Like, Do they need to players? bring yeah. him on yeah. first? Yeah. 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 I, I hear you. Like when you look, you got Ben White does, hasn't even been making the team. Well, he's apparently apparently that's because he left early. Yeah, yeah. yeah. which I understand. Yeah, apparently so, but you got players like that. It was like a really blow up at Southgate or something. Yeah, fair call. Yeah. I'd be pissed off as well. Stupid. Yeah. But um, yeah, I hear it. Yeah, if you guys cool. are Villa fans, do you take Europa League win, like the trophy? Yes. Or Champions League qualification? The Europa League. You take the trophy. Take the trophy, for Taking sure. the trophy all day. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Especially for that club. You take that. They're in now, the Champions League anyway if they win, right? Oh, yeah. 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 So it's yeah, just yeah, a, it's a progression and it's a steady progression. Yeah. I'd rather that if I'm them than to go into Champions League. You're dealing with all these games. You're not going to win the Champions League. Yeah. And it's just more problems than any good than a, a trophy. I think yeah, if you're an Aston Villa fan, you take trophy. Yeah. 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 Big trouble. Sure. Even yeah. showing that you can win something, I think you can, yeah. can reach out to more players. Yeah. Oh, yeah. maybe yeah. be out to yeah. bigger names. Big time. True. But the, yeah, I guess they would be in Champions League. But if they didn't. Yeah. yeah. It'll be the yeah. same spot either yeah. way. Yeah. 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 Um, all right, let's go to the City Brighton game quickly. I mean, it seemed like it was just going to be another win for City, yeah. and it it ended up being, but mm. Brighton did make it a bit shaky for the last twenty minutes. Anything to take out of it? Is that the is that the bounce back City needed to just go on a roll, or did they not, not look too convincing to you guys? Yeah. Oh, you go. Not quite. Like, yeah, look, they got a win, and I feel like three points is massive. But um, we also need to consider. Brighton were missing many, many players. Like you're <laughs> playing Solly Marsh fullback. Yeah. You're playing um oh, what's his name? Milner right Milner back. Milner right Milner back. Right. Yeah. He, he, this is these are his first big minutes. And he will never be playing there no, again. Not after that. <laughs> not after, that. Know, after the, the, the fucking <laughs> bathing he got from Yeah. Uh, so I, I don't know. Docu. I think if you're a city fan, you're like, yeah, all right, we've we've kind of got off that stump. We got a nice three points, but it hasn't really fixed anything in my mm, opinion. Right. I think they still look a bit vulnerable. Um, we saw at 2-1 that the game was probably mm. wide open. Mm -hmm. um, and if Brighton 
maybe were a bit composed. They could have really just snuck a draw. Um, but at the end of the day, all that matters is if you win, you win. Yeah. Like and I can't remember three points, three points. I can't remember this city team holding on to a win like they did in the last probably mm-hmm. 10, 15. Yeah. And I don't know if that's worrying for city fans or what, but I don't know. Yeah. They just seem to even if they go to two one, they just, you know, get two hundred passes in the last ten minutes and just see it out. But they're yeah. under the pump. Under the pump big Bad. time. And yeah. good for the rest of us yeah. to see. Yeah. That. Yeah. yeah. Very yeah, very yeah. good. It shows that they are kind of beatable. Good. And another yeah. red card for City Akanji got sent off late. Crazy. Oh, yeah. Which is such a dumb means challenge. Ruben Diaz will have to start next oh, week no. <laughs> against United. Of course. But even that will well. be a big game. I do want to talk about that game because that is the fixture this weekend. What is it? United City. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh, shit. What? happens because I feel like this is a must win for City. Obviously, it's, it's mm. the Manchester derby, but mm. it's also a must win for United because if they don't beat a good team this season, they're not touching they're not Aston Villa. Yeah. They're not yeah. touching Newcastle. Mm. Yeah, They're not touching... They got slapped up by Brighton. Yeah, Chelsea already look like they're performing better. in. I'm talking about in-game. Maybe mm. the points haven't translated, but yeah. as a team, they played better. Absolutely. What... Where do you think that game goes this week? It is at Old Trafford. It's going to go straight down the mud. Yeah. If you're relying on McTominay to get his <laughs> He's been scoring, man. He has scoring. Been. Don't get me wrong. He's been <laughs> scoring. But that's your goal source, <laughs> McTominay? Yeah. Like, that's pathetic. And yeah. then you look how liable he is on defense. <laughs> United horrible. just look so not... They just look so average. Their squad yeah, is actually terrible. shocking. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know. They're just... I agree. I cannot... I can honestly see them, like going into this game with confidence and then not losing 7-0 like they did to us last year, but getting slapped up mm, like 4-0, 4-1 nil, nil, maybe. I just – this team, this squad, I'm like there's just nothing in – and people are like, oh, Maguire's playing better. I'm like that doesn't really do anything if the rest of your team is just average. They always – I completely agree with everything you said, but this fixture is like they always – just somehow can pull something out yeah, regardless of if they're shit, if they're yeah. performing poorly, if they're on a run of like 16 Adobe losses. is different as well. Yeah, so. they somehow get up. That Last year they were the same. They were average is last year. at Old Trafford? Year. At Old Trafford again. Okay. And they, they beat City. I know there was the Rashford, uh, the Bruno goal where Rashford was offside. Oh, the offside mm-hmm. thing, yeah, yeah. But they still beat City. So They're capable. I don't know. Do you guys think they do <laughs> honestly have a chance or no? City win. If you were to be, if you had a thousand dollars to bet and you had to put on one side, it's city. It's city. It's city. But I feel like they're both worse than what they were last year. So yeah. I think yeah. the difference in teams is still sim. There's a similar gap as to what it was last year. Right. But they're both worse. So I still think City should win. And then again, <clears> last year we saw United take United it. United take the points. So who knows? Yeah. I see. I see it being either United wins one nil, smashing grab. Or they get smoked, mm. like Jeremy Doku, couple uh, goals, yeah. Yeah. Harlan hat trick. That's the that's the kind of vibe. I don't think there's going to be in between. I feel like either it's a smash and grab, or they just get pumped. If there was a combined eleven for this week for the United City game, I genuinely cannot see a single player, bar maybe Bruno, who f- yeah. gets in the United yeah. team yeah. because yeah. you would normally say Rashford gets in, sure thing, but. Doku has been fantastic. So yeah. He's better. And Rashford hasn't showed up at all. Some United yeah. fans were calling for him to not even start and they have a <laughs> winger crisis. Like, so their defense is completely raveled with injuries. Yeah, they it's haven't played the same team. they can turn on a player, isn't it? They have. I saw a guy on Twitter say that he would drive Amrabat back to Italy tomorrow. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, they said, I don't want this <laughs> deal. Was wasn't he like, weren't they loving him like they three were, weeks they ago? Were yeah. want, they were saying, this is the deal we need. And you know, the only highlight they saw was that tackle he made in the World Cup. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> They're happened. like, yeah, <laughs> this is our guy. Just remember, Chris has said Chelsea fans are the worst. Mm. And United fans are out when here doing I this say crap. That, that it's episode it's it was one of the questions. I think, I think you're still right, it's Chris. Valid. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 I just it is want to know. So I, think, I agree with my own statement. <laughs> so I just want to know doing when that I sort of stuff. It. Yeah, probably. That's right. Yes. Um, <laughs> nah, but if I had a thousand dollars, I'm putting it on Harlan Header against Onana. Okay. I reckon Onana yeah. will catch it and then throw it in his own net. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Right? Fair. He's trying to go back. Yeah, fair enough. Fine. He's trying <laughs> to go back. <laughs> 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 there isn't even too many other fixtures. Like there were some all right games. Wolves won again. Pedro, yeah. man. Pedro Neto. Yeah, Gary O'Neill oh. beats his former club. Yeah, mm. um, also hotly to go down balling. as well. They were. Oh, they're looking people. nice. Man. Th- yeah, yeah who, did anybody here tip Wolves? Just be honest, to go down. I, I think I might have. I think I might have. I had them low. Yeah, very low. 
Yeah, yeah. we did say that. We did yeah. say that. He was sacked. Uh, uh, he did leave, but yeah, yeah. sacked. Same, same, same thing. Same yeah. thing. Yeah. 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 Uh, was, yeah, yeah, we did say. It was him or um, West Ham. Yeah, we said Moyes. Mm. Yeah, and Moyes is... And we put Moyes is turning it around. Moyes Moyes is doing all right. Um, we also had Newcastle just absolutely pumping Crystal yeah, Palace. Great, great performance. Obviously, like Brentford, not a big deal that they won, but did you see their last two goals? Yes. Like absolute bombs. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was like my guy in Boy the last one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that yep. was very nice. Yeah. Oh, close. What else was that? We've flown through that. Yeah, we have. Um, there wasn't really too much going on. A couple of the comments said Barca should rely on the Youth Academy more. I think they'd very much do do that did you see mm. that the guy who the came on and scored yeah. yeah crazy man scored the winner against Bill Bow. um oh we have a comment from a fan in Portugal oh mm-hmm. okay she said who do you think is going to be relegated or in the fight for relegation after game week 9 her name is Laura Tazinha Tazinha okay or Lorita Zinha um Luton Luton well, Luton Everton Sheffield United yeah are we saying Burnley? Burnley. I think I don't, I don't think Burnley will be in there. They haven't won yet. They haven't no, won, won once. Oh, they have could they? be in the fight, but I think they'll... Is Bournemouth struggling as well? Bournemouth haven't won a game. That's right. I think are those other teams are worse than Burnley. The current relegation zone is Sheffield dead last, one point. Bournemouth, three oh. draws, 19 point, uh, 19th, <laughs> three points. Burnley, 18th. Then Luton just above. Everton just above that. That's the bottom five. Jeez. Then in and around them is Forest and Brentford. I think Brentford I think end up Brentford bouncing back. Forest, yeah. right. Forest, Forest have too many good players. I think to Everton go down. will be okay in the end. See, I've yeah. tipped Ever- Everton know. to go down. Yeah, I think Everton will go mm. down. Two years in a row fighting. I feel like I did as well. Do they have it in them to stay? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I don't know. Yeah. Three years they, in a row. They, they would be tired. Daishi's done it though. What yeah. I would say. I think I was saying that at the start of the year. If they come off a season and they've gone, oh my God, thank God we stayed up. And you just got to do it all again the next year. How? How do you get it's up? Exhausting. How do you get up for that? I think you'd rather go down. How do you get up? Exactly. Yeah, you would. <laughs> Enjoy. I've seen, we were having this discussion. I've seen fans say that they would rather be, in, well, just, this, uh, this is applicable yeah. to yo-yo clubs who would like go up and yeah. down. But Everton, just grinding out the bottom cannot be fun. No. As yeah. a fan, what do you have to look forward to? Because you're not even winning And some you're winning game. against teams that you don't. Care exactly, results, and it's so. like a one-off where you've struggled, you've won. Bang, but I okay. also think, as a fan, that'd be so much more fun than supporting like a mid-tier club. Because, like, imagine the stress and like you mean a how yo-yo exa- club or like a yo-yo club, or like just, just someone how, who sits at the bottom. It, no, yo-yo club. Okay. Like, just how much more exciting that would be. To, like, that's what I'm games. saying. Like, yeah. so you go back down and you're. So and that's what I was yeah. saying. And you win yeah. like 27 games. When there is yeah. a championship, oh, they yeah. love life. The fans, yeah. they're like, yeah. they're like, oh no, like, yeah. up. Like, they're going yeah. on like eight, ten game win streaks. They're they're finishing on like Leicester fans. Exactly, Leicester fans are going to win the league. Yeah, probably they they did lose the game, but yeah. Maybe maximum points like that. I they reckon Luton fans are like, okay, cool, let's just do this season, get yeah. me back to the yeah, championship, yeah, and we'll just Wanna win. Yeah, 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 and they yeah, look yeah, ready to go back and have fun again. One hundred percent. I, I, I mean, if point. I was, yeah, you don't put it into perspective. You're probably like, yeah, the Premier League. Yeah, I want to be in the Prem, but realistically, I don't want to go to the game every week and we're losing no. every single yeah. getting yeah. smoked, smoked like and by shit and teams hating as well. your players. <laughs> as well. yeah. And then you have a run of like Liverpool, City, United. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it's Maybe not even Arsenal it's not even good away days because you're going to like Liverpool. It's like, why would <laughs> yeah. that be fun? Yeah, it, it doesn't like they're not going on Europa League champions. Yeah, yeah. they're just going Liverpool oh, Merseyside. <laughs> um, we got one more question. Uh, we're sorry to Jack. He commented, so, not Jack, Jack, different Jack. Jack. So Jeez, keen for Arsenal. Yeah. Arsenal, Chelsea biff this week. We couldn't oh, have it. Sorry, mate. Riley isn't going to be, if, if me and MJ go at Riley, it's, it's not fair. Yeah, it's not you can fair. if you want. But it's I, not can, fair. I can defend myself. If Bud was right. here, at least there would be some non delusion. Yeah. Yeah. delusion. Delusion. And he word. would just be backing it. It's because I'm too realistic. I told exactly. you. <laughs> I actually know ball. <laughs> I just joked on nothing. <laughs> why the hell are you joking about that? <laughs> let's What's just, funny? Let's just do it, some why. predictions. How about that? And then yeah, we'll end I'm ready. We can I quickly say, I don't know if you guys saw that the Arsenal women's team photo and the backlash they got. Because no. they have all white players. Did you see I, that? Oh, I didn't see that, but I, yeah. when I was looking at the Arsenal squad- I never squad knew that until- The other day- They got backlash. They only yeah. have white players. Everyone was like, okay, blonde? 
Deep. Like that, that like vibe. The, the, the and the it was like, Swedish, it was like, British. what the hell, Arsenal Women's FC? Like, why? Yeah. Do you have like, why is there no diversity? And they put out like an official statement, and we're like, oh, we weird. promise, like, we're a very diverse club. That's like such a priority to us. And I was just like, I never knew that until I saw the team photo. I was like, I oh my god, either. they're all white. Yeah, the whole team. Oh, coaching yeah. And like, everyone. Arsenal as a club is like uh, one of very, the most diverse yeah, clubs. Yeah, very. Like, Arsenal Wenger was the first coach to ever field X amount of. Black yeah. players, blah, blah, blah. But I noticed that the other day and I was so yeah. confused because I was just like, how do you just not have one by accident even? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. It, or like a token one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like you could, you would have chicken. to like go out of your way like to just <laughs> not have one. It's going to be like interesting the next transfer window what they do. Like, yeah. I don't know if they're going to sign just yeah, for yeah, the yeah. sake Horse of it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> their first sign, Linda Kai said, <laughs> one bill. <laughs> anyway, I just thought that was interesting because yeah, I, I, I it's never like really shows noticed who, like, get rich they were for all not in having one no photo. diversity. Yeah. In season two, they've got like yeah, token yeah. black is gay all, kid. Yeah. Is it all English players though? Or no, no, no there's like there's three Aussies. Nations. There's like so they hella no, they don't like, have any Asian people. No. I, thought, oh, I don't oh. think so. I don't yeah, think so. They've hella like Swedish, Norwegian. There's a lot of couple American, British. My club would never Aussie. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, I did know that yeah, actually. Cool. Even like all their coaching staff. Oh no, it's just their manager. But yeah, they're all. They're wide as hell. Crazy. Them. Wild. Yeah. Crazy. Do anyway, you reckon, what are you going to say? Do you reckon it's fair to have the backlash <laughs> if you know the club isn't like. Like, Arsenal's not known to be like. Uh, I don't think you should a, realistically have to explain. If your club has like a history. Of that, mm. then it would make sense, but exactly. it's like surely you can tell that yeah. it's a. Mm. But I'm I'm I sure they didn't do it on purpose. Like people yeah, that's are, not, are making no, it out no. as if like no chance. You yeah, know, they've done it on purpose. It's just a yeah, exactly. But yeah. it's yeah. it's weird. It is weird, especially now. But it, I don't. I don't find think it a they went out and like seeked out only white players. It just obviously no. happened in their. Especially like, in shit. competitive sport, mm. it's kind of hard to lose. Consciously be like, I'm not going to have any black players because yeah. Yeah. you're yeah. going to do yourself a disservice. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> like, yeah. athletically. Yeah, mm. yeah. Like, For sure. But yeah, I don't know. That's yeah, that's weird. crazy. Let's get a few predictions of the sure. fixtures coming up um, this ahead. week. I'll just pick a few. We're going to do predictions and we can come back and see who got them right. Uh, we'll go start with the uh, Manchester Derby. United at home to City. Can I get a score prediction, Riley? City 4 0, Haaland 3, <laughs> yes. and Doku 1. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> uh, I like it. Easy. I'm going to go for my fantasy sake. Uh, City 4-0. <laughs> oh, no. uh, Doku double. Haaland double. Doku to a sister. Oh, yeah. okay. That'd be nice. <laughs> yeah, uh, Tom, I hope I'm not playing I think United win 2-1. Oh. oh. Yep. I like just, it, Tom. Okay. No reason. See, yeah. I, yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. I see that. I see them. Just history um, show. Jimmy Jam that. I reckon it's going to be 1-0 to United, but City will come back 3-1. Oh, okay. So oh, that'll be nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Bit of hope and then Jez, you got a prediction or back. Yeah, I'll go I'll go I'll go three nil City and I'm gonna go Harlan one, Rodri one, so. Foden one, yep. Grealish zero minutes again. Yeah. <laughs> I know he came on. He though. got on. I know he got some <laughs> rubbish minutes at the <laughs> end, but <laughs> seventeen back. He's passes. awful man. Yeah, he was awful when he came on. <laughs> That's literally the only good game. <laughs> Yeah, crap. Like that's it, crap. guys. This has been Let Him Shoot. Yep. We tried. Yeah. We're <laughs> just going to cut all our predictions out, except for the Manchester Derby one, because that was garbage. Uh, make sure you like, share, subscribe, comment, and if you want to keep this uh, lineup on rotation, let mm. us know, or let us know who you think the best lineup yeah, is. Yeah. Some of us out if yeah. you want. Yeah, yeah. and we'll who, comment this week who is the best lineup, and that yeah, will be the lineup actually. on next episode. Maybe Someone's still going to comment about we should MJ do a and I being the best duo with everyone in there. Whoever yeah. gets the most votes off yeah. for next week. <laughs> <Off>. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever gets the most gets votes out. kicked off the off the channel. So everyone vote. <laughs> this has been Let Him Shoot. Oh, and we oh, apologise yes, for this. Wall. This is just so temporary. Sorry. Construction is in progress. Um, our landlords have been a bit slack, so we're getting this redone. Getting evicted. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Like Peace. Just, uh,